everybody, Dear Really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of The Amazing Shinsengumi Heroes in Love. We are finishing up, working on finishing up, Hajime Saito's route. We are doing his other two endings now. First I'm going to read his 20% ending, then his 40% ending. So, first off, Ignition. I'm glad you're safe. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Red. The world was filled with red. The flames. They're huge! I hoped the cat would find it strange and run back outside. It didn't matter where, I just wanted to see her safe. I just watched as the house was engulfed in the fervid flames. I want to go in and save her. I understand how you feel, but please endure it. There's no way I can do that! I struggled to break free, but his arms were strong. I couldn't get out of them. Hajime, please! Let me go! I won't. Why? The fire became even fiercer. It wouldn't let anyone inside. If you go in to try to save her, you'll die instead, Chizuru. But... the cat is still in there. This wasn't the time to argue. The fire encompassed the house even more. I felt so powerless watching the house burn as I just stood there. Hajime! Let go! Let me go! No matter how many times I told him, Hajime would not let me go. I want to save her! I knew I was being selfish, but... It's here. Over here. The fire's getting bigger. Hurry up and start. It became noisy. The firefighters must have shown up. I heard someone say it would take a while to break down the house. There's a cat inside. No one listened to my words. The firefighters got into formation and started doing their respective jobs. The house wasn't so big. They took it down as if it were made of sand. It was to protect the neighboring houses from catching on fire. In order to protect Kyoto, they fought with the flames. The house collapsed on itself. It was destroyed. The firefighters threw water on the collapsed pillars and put out the remaining flames. The black smoke dyed the sky, while the burning smell spread. Ugh. The lively cat was nowhere to be seen. I wasn't childish enough to put up my hope for some miracle. I knew the cat was dead. Ugh. I looked at the rubble and started to weep. I'm sorry. I couldn't save you. I'm so sorry. You don't need to apologize. Hajime hugged me even tighter. You're too kind. Please don't blame yourself so much. But I couldn't save her. I let the cat die. That's not true. Plus, even if you went inside to save her, there's no guarantee you would have made it out safely. Still, I interrupted Hajime's indifferent words as I yelled. I wanted to save her. Miss Yukimura. Hajime looked woeful as he held me up. Oh, we're back to Miss Yukimura again. He must have bit his lip, because it was red and swelling up. It's the Shinsengumi's job to protect the people of Kyoto. Hajime's voice was shaking. I could sense his feelings from the way his voice shivered. Yeah, you're right. But... Most importantly, I want to protect you. Oh... Please understand. Hajime was in pain. About as much as I was. No, he was in even more pain. I saw his shoulders shaking, and I reached to them with my hand. I did what Hajime did for me. I hugged him tightly. I understand. Thank you so much. Why are you thanking me? I wouldn't blame you if you held a grudge against me. I wouldn't do that. You're kind, Hajime. You're wrong. I'm... I just don't want to lose you, that's all. So, I'm so glad you're safe. That's how I feel. He confessed his feelings, and I was overflowing with emotions. It was hard to breathe. I'll be by your side, so don't worry. We stayed like that, hugging each other for a few minutes. We watched as the firefighters cleaned up the area. There was something we wanted. We went back home and sat in a corner of the garden. Are you sure it's okay? Hajime was holding a piece of cloth with a cat inside. Captain Kondo gave us his approval. There shouldn't be any problems. Thank you for always helping me. Sorry for relying on you. No, I'm glad I could help you. Don't worry about it. We dug a hole in the ground and buried the cat. Oh, The cat did die. We did what we could, and strangely, the pain in my chest disappeared. Let's go back, Chizuru. I stared at his hand as he extended it toward me. Once again, I realized I was saved by his hand over and over again. 
Okay, Hajime. I took his big hand, and a sense of security spread throughout my chest. This feeling might have been love. Nevertheless, even if it wasn't, I didn't mind. I'm here, and Hajime is too. I thought that was good enough. Then, I continued staying at the Shinsengumi base, and I was back to my ordinary life again. Shizuru, can I help you with anything? Whenever Hajime had a break, he would always come and talk to me. No, there's nothing I need to do soon. Oh! What is it? Can you taste a nice dinner for me? <laughs> of course. We were laughing together when Sonosuke came over to us with a smug look on his face. Shizuru, do you want to go out to a cafe today? You shameless hussy. Hajime was suddenly standing in front of Sonosuke. What is it, Hajime? Get a clue, man! I want to talk to Chizuru. He was like a wall. Whenever Sonosuke moved to the right, so did Hajime. If he moved to the left, Hajime did too. Hajime was my protective barrier. <laughs> it sure is noisy here today. While they were playing attack and defend, Shinpachi slipped into the room. Shinpachi, what brings you here? Dinner won't be done until a little later. I came to check up on you. On me? For some reason, Shinpachi smiled awkwardly and waved his hand when I tilted my head. I was talking about yours and Hajime's situation. Well, I guess you've already cleared things up. Yeah, sorry for making you worry that one time. We're back to normal now, I think. I see. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I think we'll be able to advance our relationship one day too. <laughs> <laughs> you, you sure are a strong woman. While Shinpachi and I talked, Hajime was successful in turning Sonosuke away. <laughs> he looked at us with a very tired face. Sonosuke sure is trouble. Shinpachi considered our feelings and left the room. That's true. But I'm okay because you're here with me, Hajime. Was I able to protect you? Of course. That's good. Hajime quietly mumbled. He was blushing so much, even his ears were red. Then he awkwardly grabbed my hand. <sighs> ah, how could it end there? He just grabbed my hand and that was the end. <laughs> that was so cute and funny though that he just kept blocking Sonosuke. <laughs> Alright, uh, let me find the other end here. Okay, Embers, I want to protect you. Hopefully we'll, we'll save the cat. Okay, I'm gonna skip until... Until something new happens. Okay, Hajime went into the house to rescue the cat, and here's where things are a little different though. I stopped myself from shouting and watched him leap into the flames. I lost sight of him and my chest suddenly swelled with anxiety. I have to find something I can do. I took the bucket and poured water near the entrance of the house. Splash. The flames were intense, the small amount of water I used hardly had any effect. Splash. Still, I wanted to help Hajime. I continued pouring. Hajime went inside instead of me. I have to do all I can. <sighs> this is a huge fire. We'll start soon. A group of firefighters showed up. Looking at their tools, I could easily tell they were going to demolish the house. P please wait! It's dangerous here, ma'am. Go somewhere safe. No, you got it wrong. There's a person still inside. What? The fire is too strong. There's no way we can save him. Also, it's our duty to stop the fire from spreading. The firefighters grabbed their tools. I panicked and stood in front of the house. I tried stopping them. Please, please wait a little longer. The firefighters stopped moving for a moment and looked at each other. They shook their heads and tried to get rid of me again. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but please give up. We have to destroy the house before the fire causes any more damage. No! I guess I have to stop them with force. Little old me? just as I was about to stand off against the firefighters. It's okay. His voice reached my ears. Before I could turn around, his big hand patted me on the head. Hajime. I'm back. The cat is fine too. Meow. Hajime was holding the cat and showed me it was fine. Hajime. You look like you're fine as well. I'm glad. Hajime looked at me with his usual gaze. I was so relieved after hearing his voice, the strength of my body vanished and I sat down. At the same time, big droplets came down on my face. If we stay here, we'll get in their way. 
With Hajime's calm judgment, he picked me up and carried me a little further away. He put me down and put his jacket around his shoulders. He then stared at my face. Why are you crying? I was so happy seeing you safe and sound. I tried to smile, but the overflowing tears got in my way. I see. Then I'm glad. I was worried you were hurt somewhere. Hajime gently spoke to me. He had a slightly stern look on his face. At any rate, you should have followed the firefighter's orders. But... They were about to destroy the house while you were in it. I couldn't just watch you die. It's the Shinsengumi's job to protect the people of Kyoto. My chest hurt after hearing Hajime's words. It's true. My actions may have put the people of Kyoto in danger. I do feel bad about that, but... Oh, I'm not trying to blame you. Huh? Hajime had a soft smile on his face as he wrapped his hand around my cheek. It's the Shinsengumi's job to protect the people of Kyoto. But I want to protect you more than anything. My chest became noisy after hearing his gentle voice and seeing his passionate gaze. Like I said, I went in to save the cat, in order to protect your smile. But when I came out, you were trying to do something dangerous, weren't you? Uh... It was absurd for you to be in front of the burning house in the first place. I'm sorry for making you worry. Hajime let go of the cat and stared at his hand. I was really worried, so... He made a fist and gripped it with force. Let me protect you from now on. And with that, Hajime hugged me tightly. I want to always be by your side and protect you. Is that alright? Yes. Great. He hugged me even harder. I had trouble breathing. Hajime, it hurts. Oh, sorry, I wasn't thinking. <laughs> it's so sweet, he's just too strong for his own good. It, it's okay. I'm fine. After that, we hugged one more time. His warmth was wrapped around me. I felt his skin and I was sure he was fine. The fire was put out without any problems. We went back home. I could tell Hajime was burned here and there. I quickly carried him. What? I quickly carried into the bedroom? Wow, I'm really strong. <laughs> I think they wrote that wrong or something. Bam. I put a bowl of medical water near his pillow. Medical water? If you were burned, why didn't you tell me sooner? You need to see a doctor. Are you mad? Of course I am. <laughs> I knew it. This isn't the laughing matter. Sorry. I was glad you got angry. I couldn't stay mad at him after seeing his joyful smile. I'll give you some medicine. Can you sit up for me? His back had burns as well. I couldn't support him upright. I watched over him as he slowly sat up. <sighs> Does it hurt? No, it's not a problem. There was a thin layer of sweat on Hajime's forehead. If you hide your pain like that, it'll only make me worry. I'm not hiding anything. I'm fine. Hajime slowly sat up as he said that. Maybe he could endure the pain because he trained so much. Here's the medicine. Thanks. I supported the cup of medicine with both hands and bought it to his mouth. It must have been bitter because he made a face. It was refreshing to see, so I laughed. Thanks for that. <laughs> uh, why are you laughing? That's because you won't get mad at me, right? No. You made a childish face when you swallowed the medicine. It was cute. Is that so? I was about to hand him hot water to wash out the taste. Huh? He tugged my arm, and our lips collided. I couldn't follow what had happened. By the time I realized we were kissing, Hajime's tongue started coming into my mouth. My kiss is the best medicine. Hmm. Uh, Hajime! I tried to turn away, but he caught my jaw. I couldn't run. Mm. <sighs> he caught my tongue inside my mouth as it was trying to get away. <laughs> Wait! Our tongues were entwined, and he relentlessly licked every nook and cranny of my mouth. When we were done kissing, the teacup had fallen out of my hands. It's bitter, isn't it? <laughs> you had to share that with me? There's no way I could taste anything. Oh, I thought that was the best way for you to taste the medicine. My body became hot. It was like my blood was boiling. I wiped up the spilled water and tried my best to calm down. Chizuru. What is it? Um, 
can I hold you right now? What? What are you talking about? You're injured. Of course we can't. Not even a little. Hajime begged me with puppy dog eyes. Oh, how could you say no to that? No, we can't. I was glad, he asked, and almost nodded. I had to be stern, so I shook my head. Can't we just cuddle a little or something? I mean, come on, we just had a nice kiss without hurting him. Then, let's do it when I'm better. Sure thing. Okay. Hajime put his hand on the back of my head and pulled me toward him. It doesn't hurt? It doesn't affect me very much. It's harmful not to be able to touch you while you're so close to me. Jeez! Were you surprised? Forgive me. Hajime lifted the tips of his lips and smiled. His smile was filled with happiness. I could finally tell after all this time with him. I felt like our hearts were getting closer to one another. I want to recover as soon as possible. I want to protect Kyoto. No, I want to protect you. My feelings won't ever waver. I wanted to continue supporting his ideals and stay by his side. I felt that way, very strongly. That was a pretty cute end. That first ending was definitely the best though. <laughs> very passionate. Overall, I definitely really liked Saito's route a lot. Definitely got pretty racy here and there. <laughs> but it was another short one. All of his chapters were short. I think maybe even the shortest of all of them. But uh, it looked like Shinpachi's was the longest. It seemed like his chapters were longer than everybody else's. I mean, not by much, but uh, just enough to make it, you know, noticeable to me. Now I don't know if I like Soji or Saito better. I can't decide. Well, I'll have some more time after we read Heisuke, so... I'll come up with my final decision after him. Oh yeah, we still have the sequel and date scenario to read for him. Hooray! So we may have more passion with him yet. It's those quiet ones who are really good sometimes. Alright, so hope to see you there for that sequel and date scenario or in some of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.